Welcome to FM Show Center. Today we are looking at equations. The way they come. Okay, most especially those ones that have to do with indices. Okay, so for example, they bring you 3 to the power x is equal to 9. Okay, they tell you find x. Okay, that's question 1. 3 to the power x is equal to 9. Find x. What do you do? How do you find x? One thing you're supposed to know is first you write that is 3 to the power x is equal to 9. When you see 3 in front here, it simply means also this 9 should be expressed as a power of 3. Okay? So you start. You can have your trials this side. Okay? Your trials. If you say 3 as a power of 1, it's what? It is 3. Okay? What about 3 as a power of 2? You find a number whereby when you multiply 3 as a power of 2, it means 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. Okay? So that's one that's going to give me 9, 3 to the power 2. Because 3 to the power 1 is giving me 3, it's not working. Here it's 9. I try 3 to the power 2, is giving me 9, and here it's 9. So it means it's supposed to be 3, x is equal to 9 as a power of 3. It will be 3 to the power 2. Why? Because 3 to the power 2 here gives me 9. What do you do? You cancel the ones down here, and then you equate the bases. So it means that x on top is equal to the 2 on top. So the answer is 2. Okay? That's how you solve it. Same thing, we can say x is equal to 3 to the power x is equal to 81. You see, this is question 2. You are finding x there. Okay? These are, these are equations. You are finding x. So you say 3 to the power 1 is equal to what? 3. Okay. It's not working. These are trials. Trials. Okay, what about 3 to the power 2? 3 to the power 2 means 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. It's not working. Okay. What about 3 to the power 3? 3 to the power 3 means 3 times 3, which means 9. Again, 9 times 3 is 27. Is that 27 here? No. So 3 to the power 3 is not working. 3 to the power, this is 3 to the power 2. It didn't work. 3 to the power 3 gives me 27, but here it's 81. What about 3 to the power 4? 3 to the power 4 is going to work. Why? Because 3 to the power 4. Of course, this is 3 to the power 4. You are going downwards. 3 to the power 4, it means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 3, 27. 27 times 3, 81. What do you have here? 81. So it means 3 to the power 4. That's a trial that is working. So you say 3 to the power x is equal to 3. All the times the bases here, they should be same. If there's 3 here, they should be 3 here. So 3 to the power what? 4 will give me this 81. And then you cancel this. So x is equal to that 4 there. That's how you solve this. That's how you solve. Okay? Lastly, if they give you 4, for example, 4 to the power 2x plus 1 is equal to, let's say, they say 16. Meaning, 16 should be raised as a power of 4. So, say 4, 2x plus 1. What is 16 as a power of 4? Okay, it will be 4 to the power... 4 to the power 1, is it 16? No, it is 4. What about 4 to the power 2? Is it 16? Yes. So it means the trial that is working is 4 to the power 2. Okay? So since these bases, these, these bases are same, you cancel them. This one and this one cancels. What remains is what? 2x plus 1 is equal to that 2. You make x a subject. 2x 
is equal to 2, that positive 1 goes this side. So is equal to 2x is equal to 2x is equal to 2 minus 1. Okay, 2x is equal to 1. You divide by 2, you divide by 2. Okay, x is equal to half. That's how you solve it.